What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is the 10 most dangerous tourist destinations in the United States. Well, we're not going to be going to these. Will we? But number one is amazing apparently. It says yeah, it in the title, sure. hashtag one or number one. I, I always say, hash, I always read it as hashtag one. I forget that that means number. No, I know it means number, but every, like when I said it last time, everyone got annoyed at me. Like proper annoyed, like you do as hashtag is just number one. So yeah, there we go. I said it. It's going to be kind of like the earphone thing, isn't it? We're just going to say it now because there's no annoying people. Just, just got people comment about it. Because the more you guys comment, actually, the more... Oh, wait, you guys haven't video. noticed that we have got our own earphones. Oh, we, we've got separate earphones, by the way. We just, it's just we don't we, like to show you because we still think it's funny. We also like to conversate, conversate with each other. Have a conversation. Talk. Conversate with each other. Is that a word? Communicate. Communicate. Communicate with each other. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. These are places which you may not see us, but if they're amazing, we may do it. But then, Depends what it means by dangerous. Definitely. If there's, if there's a guard like there, the Grand, it'd be dangerous. If you're talking about the Grand Canyon, like, then yeah, I'll go. But if you're yeah. talking about going to go and... Like the Titanic. Like buffalo, just not... Well, no, but if that is a dangerous thing, which I would never do. Do you know what I mean? I would never do that. It's obviously on my mind because of what's happening, and we honestly do think, hope everyone is okay. I know it's looking less and less good like at the moment. Like, time goes on. But, like, something that dangerous, no way in hell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, I couldn't. But something a little bit, like... Going to the Grand Canyon, there's a, it's a drop. Well, like going to Yellowstone, like Yellowstone. Yeah, there we go. Although, if you're gonna throw me in like a load of, like I don't know, what's give me a bad animal, bear. buffalo or a something. Bear. Oh, buffalo. Uh, uh, there's buffalo over here. I'm not. But it, it, you're yeah, on but the like, path and it's safe. Yeah, but like just don't I mean. go up to them. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like just don't chuck me in a field of them. Definitely. This has been a super long intro. Smash that button, guys. Smash the subscribe. We've just gone through things that are never gonna happen. I oh, know. Are you ready? Yeah. Ten most dangerous tourist destinations in the United States. What we got? Have you ever thought you'd die on vacation? I'd hope not. That type of thing happens more often than you'd think. Oh. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. Let's talk about getting croaked on vacation. <laughs> That's not something wow. to do with drinking too much. Well, I guess it can be. In 2019, the daughter of a couple my wife and I know from our hometown was bit by a shark while vacationing in the Bahamas. Heartbreakingly, she didn't survive the attack. That's After awful. this, I started reading about shark attacks and this of course led me down that Google rabbit hole and I learned far more than is healthy about shark attacks. This of course led <laughs> to another done. rabbit hole of how many people in the United States are seriously injured or killed while vacationing in the United States. Right. I was kind of alarmed and you might find this one a little bit shocking there are over 2 billion tourist trips in the united states every non-pandemic year okay. that is both american and foreign tourists visiting places in the united states mm -hmm. that's a lot of opportunities for people to kick the bucket while having a good time we're not going to do this Talk one in any particular order here are the this, this is world of the bridge he, he, he holds no punches let's put it that way he's just into it it's brutal he is brutal <laughs> most dangerous tourist spots in the united states i'm ready i'm ready Number 10, Half Dome, Yosemite National Park, California. Okay. Easily the most recognizable landmark Big in all drop. of Yosemite. Mm -hmm. Half Dome is a granite dome formation towering over the eastern end of the Yosemite Valley like a monolith from a forgotten time. Half Dome is the most well-known rock formation in the park, perhaps even the entire United States. Oh, People wow. from all around the globe have traveled to this place to gaze upon its magnificence. Since 2005, there have been at least 15 deaths, 311 accidents, and 150 search and rescue missions oh, on wow. Half Dome. Around 60 people have died on Half Dome and the trail that leads up to it okay. since they started keeping records around 1910. I did see different stats that say it's closer to 100 people, but most say it's 60 or thereabouts. Okay. It takes a whole day to hike this trail in which you climb over 5,000 feet or 1,500 meters if you're not from the United States. And the last 400 feet are nearly vertical, so you need to use cables to complete the climb. When it Ew. rains, the slippery rocks can be deadly. There's a section of Half Dome known as the Death, Death Slabs. Slabs. I think that's one of them. Number nine. We will go and see it from a distance. Yeah, look at it from the, from the floor. Yeah, I, th I think when you're starting to introduce cables, there's a whole new yeah, risk no, into no, it. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll, yeah. I'll look at that from the ground. <laughs> Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone, Yellowstone National Park is located in the western United States, most of which being in the northwest corner of Wyoming, and extends into Montana and Idaho. It is known for its landscapes, wildlife, and geysers, including the most famous geyser of all, Old Faithful. Yeah. Watching yeah. the Old Faithful Ready geyser erupt day. is a Yellowstone tradition. People from all over the world have found their way to watch this famous geyser. It's like a mm -hmm. family bonding moment, like 
every summer for so many families. Old Faithful is one of nearly 500 geysers in Yellowstone and one of the six that park rangers currently predict. It is uncommon to be able to predict a geyser eruption with regularity, okay. but Old Faithful has lived up to the name. It's faithfully been blowing up every 30 minutes for the last 30 wow. years. Every 30 oh, and it's minutes. also part of a super volcano that can blow up any time, potentially killing thousands and pretty much vaporizing anyone that's near it. Yeah, At least enough. 22 people are known to have died from geyser-related mishaps in and around Yellowstone since 1890. Most of the deaths have been accidents, although two people did die trying to swim in the hot springs Why? around the geysers, and two other people decided to get a closer look at a geyser and jumped a barrier and basically melted. But why would you jump the so like, they know it's a super. It's there for a reason. It's there for a reason, and it's a super. Like that's what? a bit an idiot. Nah, I don't have sympathy for that. That's not. That's not the, the destination being dangerous. That's you being danger to yourself. It's got to be, on it. But you don't. You don't jump a barrier because it's clearly there for a reason. Why would you jump into that? I <laughs> know. Let's go and swim in that thing that looks incredibly hot and may kill me. Do you know what I mean? I have no volcano words. can blow up at any time. Last time it blew up was over 640,000 years ago. So nah. it's been a while, and a lot me. of people say another super eruption is going to happen soon, but a lot of science... Random question. Why is it not hairy on its back? Maybe, maybe it had a shave. Mm. No, I don't honestly answer that question. I honestly don't know. Answer the question. <laughs> that's I don't sarcastic, know. all right? <laughs> I say that's just a bunch of nonsense, and we're perfectly safe. But if it blows, it's going to be bad. Oh, the now, whole besides world all the super doing. volcanoes, the geysers, and yeah. the hot springs, and stuff right. like that, that could kill you. Got a off chance of being run over by a buffalo, mauled by a bear, attacked by a pack of wolves. These are all potential dangers in Yellowstone. Now, they don't happen like every weekend or every summer or anything like that. They are very rare to have animals attack and kill someone, but it does happen. But it can happen. Number eight, Action Park, New Jersey. So okay. this one's dangers were in the past because it was shut down twice. It was opened they originally in 1978 ice. and closed in 1976 because of all the lawsuits. Then in 2014, it was reopened by the original owner's son and then closed again in 2016. I watched right. a documentary on this place and it was insane. This park was twice. filled with anything that could be fun and dangerous. <laughs> safety precautions were an afterthought to these people. Most that. places like this good. have a motto of safety first. Not this place. It was have a good time try not to get hurt and let's throw in some precautions once we realize what's hurting people so try this was a water hurt. park had go-karts trampolines oh, uh, alpine slide just about anything you could think of they had a water slide that had a loop in it this was back before pretty oh, much we, all these crazy water slides we, we did a video on this once a long time ago broke. yeah i think and then some Split. people hit at the top and like who would have thought that's a good idea <laughs> We did do a video um, on this, didn't we? Yeah. A long time ago. Um, but the thing is, I don't think I could go to a water park knowing it's been closed because it's been dangerous. I suppose 1996 to 2004 is a long time. It's 18 years. But same, like, family. Same family. But the fact that they got it shut down a second time, that's mad, isn't it? That it's is mad. Not good. <laughs> we have now and it wasn't really well thought out people would whip down this hill get to the top of the loop and kind of fall back down on the inside of the loop and hit it and then fall to the bottom of the slide so people are getting injured all the time they were getting injured on this one place so they decided to put a padding in there because that's where people seem to be landing and then people started coming out with scrapes and all this and they thought that maybe there was a problem there was a screw maybe. that was sticking out or something weird like that they went inside there and they found out that the pad they had put down there for safety had people's teeth stuck <gasps> in it yeah that's the type of place this oh. was it was known as traction park accident park class action park little effort class was made park. by state regulators to address these issues that the park had in later years, personal injury lawsuits led to the closure of an increasing number of the rides, and eventually the entire park was shut down in wow. 1996, like I said. But this place was crazy. They had this wave pool that was called the Tidal Wave Pool. They've had six deaths here, and I think four of them were because of that pool. Another guy they had a heart attack when he dangerous. hit the cold water after this thing called a Tarzan swing. It was a big rope you swung out over the water and dropped in. Well, the water wasn't heated, and it was freezing. Dude had a heart attack. All kinds of things like that. Alcohol was readily available for anyone with very little checking of the IDs and stuff like that. More than one employee it, had taken the go-karts onto the highway just outside of the park. <laughs> this place was crazy. It seems like a fun... It feels like teenagers have just set us up. <laughs> Literally, is like, yeah, let's make a walk. for a great time, and then... Yeah. Definitely. It doesn't seem like adults have actually run this park. <laughs> Not all. If you ever get a chance, go to, I think it's on HBO Max. The documentary is called Class Action Park. 
I love that. Number seven, the Grand Canyon. Since 1919, they've had 130 deaths at the Grand Canyon, and most of the ones that are a result of falling off a cliff were people trying to, you know, quit the oxygen habit on their own. On average, the Grand Canyon oh, sees 12 it. deaths a year and around 300 rescues. Most rescues are heat-related injuries, broken bones, things like that. More than a few people have been hit by falling rocks and had eye injuries, and one woman in 2016 broke her own nose with her fist while adjusting her bra. Not kidding. Well, that's not Don't Grand know how big this bra song, was. I've heard it, but obviously she's gone out and boom. Do you know when you actually like when you're trying to tear something and it releases and you Yeah, I thought you said when you're trying to fix yours. Yeah, I, I don't fix mine on foot. How many have you that's been talking? How many have you been fixing? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, do you know when you're trying to do something? Or like you've got your zipper and then yeah, your hands can pop it things. and you're like, oh I'm such an idiot. That wouldn't kill that Grand Canyon problem though. Definitely not. That's a lot not of, problem. A lot of these, by the way, there's hardly any. I know sometimes it seems to be number three. And mountain people go here. Yeah, this is tiny, tiny, tiny percentages. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's really devastating about the suicide. Yeah, so but sad. But I wouldn't class the Grand Canyon dangerous because of that. Because that is, is because that's so unfortunately it's just an opportunity to do it. Yeah, that that yeah, it's not. If you go there just looking to see the views and everything then that's not dangerous that no sense. yeah no it's just it's just unfortunately probably an easy yeah option. yeah unfortunately, unfortunately. by the way talk to people talk to your friends if, if you're anything like that, because life is worth living isn't it definitely but apparently it packed a wallop number six hawaii between july of 2015 and whole, january of 2015 the whole just state of hawaii, hawaii. <laughs> what 2019, around 177 tourists died in Hawaii, around one a week on average. Wow. Most have died from injuries suffered while doing common tourist activities like so swimming, been, snorkeling, guessing. hiking, eating spam. Drowning is a big killer, as you can imagine, and most of the time it happens while snorkeling, not while surfing or anything like that. Oh. Moped and scooter accidents are another big one, and I was really hoping to see a bunch of people got hit on the head with coconuts every year, but I guess that rarely happens. <laughs> I was informed, though, by Kayla, our resident Hawaiian, that calling a local coconut to their face might get you hit on the head with something. <laughs> Number five, Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Okay. This one you might not think is dangerous, but it is. Growing up near the ocean, I can it's tell you sometimes it is me. deceptively dangerous. Rip current, shore pound, and sneaker waves are some of the risks Beautiful you face view. when getting wet in the Pacific Ocean. Don't Golden mess Gate with Recreation the Park has all those and more. This is a rocky shoreline, and if you're not paying attention, a wave will pick you up and throw you against the rocks. That's never fun. If you're not sure what that feels like, run outside, jump as high as you can in the air, and land flat on your back. Don't Pretty do much that. feels like that. Despite its name, the Golden Gate Bridge is not part of the park. It is managed by the bridge Stunning. district, and so the rising number of jumpers off the bridge here are not part of the park's stats. The roads and cliffs around the park are dangerous, and I've been here. It's been quite a few years, but I can tell you these cliffs are unstable. It's oh, no wow. joke. Since 1972, 86 people have died here. Wow. Don't mess with the Number sea, four, by the way. Lake it's Mead. dangerous. Just east of Las Vegas, you have Lake Mead in the middle of the Nevada desert. In oh. case you've never heard... We nailed Gee, this. Yes, sir. Yeah, we nailed some joke. So if you would have seen by now, you'd definitely seen it by now. Uh, we nailed Lake Mead, didn't we? Uh -huh. Gosh, I'd... Go check out Joe Guess again. We did famous US places. We did quite Wait, well. Wait, did we? Or did yeah. we not say it was in Arizona? Um, we got there in the end. We, okay. we got it. We got it. Like, it took us a while, but we At got first, it. I'm sure we went, this is Arizona. Yeah, we got there. I've heard of it. It's where Hoover Dam is. This place is dangerously hot. The terrain is treacherous. And in the last decade, seven people have been murdered here. That what? they know of. Murdered. Legend has it this lake has a good amount of bodies at the bottom that didn't end up there by mistake. I imagine people About ditch 25 him all the time. people a year die in and around this 290 square mile lake. A lot of those have to do with drowning, boating accidents, boating and drinking. There's a lot of drinking that goes on in these desert lakes. Okay. I've been to quite a few of them growing up in Southern California, and drinking's always an issue, and boating accidents, it's just, it's a nightmare some weekends. That's a mad damn Yeah. That Number three, down. Alaska. Alaska was the only state in the U.S. with more than 600 violent crimes per 100,000 wow. residents in 2018. That's not good starting things off. Most of the time, those would be locals, but more than a few have been tourists. There are some potentially scary animals living around almost every tourist destination in this state. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the whole state's just filled with scary animals. The animals aren't what get most tourists, though. There's a variety of ways tourists in Alaska take the big nap. 
hunting accidents, fishing accidents, which basically are drownings, car accidents, and hiking accidents, which include exposure or people just vanishing. That happens way too much. That's not good. The car accident thing, if you've ever driven in Alaska, which I have, I'm surprised it's not way higher. Those are some of the worst and scary roads I've ever seen. You name it and you can die from it in Alaska. Alaska sees about 60 accidental deaths every year. Six that doesn't five. sound like much until you realize there's almost nobody living in this yeah, state. Yeah, there's not many people. They have like the population of Rhode Island, and they're like the largest state. It's crazy. Number two, Mardi Gras, New Orleans. Mardi Gras can be an incredibly good time. The chances of you getting killed are very slim. They have plenty of police that know. I mean, teenagers, alcohol, loads and loads of people. It's not going to be the most safest place, is it? No, it's one of those places where you've got to be vigilant. and You've you've got to be aware of that, but also you're probably getting hammered yourself Mm -hmm. as well. So you probably, I mean, you probably know what they're doing and they do it well, but they can't be everywhere. The first thing I'm going to tell you won't sound like a big deal and it's not terribly dangerous, but you should know about this. Never wear sandals. Wear legit shoes. This place is so crowded, your feet will get stepped on over and over and over. Normally by drunk people with real shoes on. Then you have the trash on the ground that's disgusting and your day will be ruined when you start sloshing around the street that's filled Mm. with trash and beer and anything else. There are pickpocket scammers and straight up bad people in the crowd looking for an opportunity. If you've been drinking all day, the chances of you becoming an opportunity get higher and higher with every drink. New Orleans is a dangerous city and it's always on the list of the most violent cities. Walking back to your hotel to save a buck can be a deadly mistake. Get a cab, get an Uber, get something. One last thing I will tell you, never touch the police horse. I promise you, if that that happens, if you do that, you're drunk, you even pet that horse, you will catch a beating. Now, there's not really any stats that I can give you on this because it varies and it's really different. It varies year to year. But New Orleans can be a very dangerous place for a tourist, especially because being a tourist, you don't know the city. You could be a victim very easily. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that. I'm not going to New Orleans. (laughs) And before we get to number one, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you like what we're doing here, please hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you know when we upload it. That just helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. All right, on to number one. And number one, New Smyrna Beach, Florida. New Smyrna Beach Beach is on the Atlantic coast of Florida, just Mm. south of Daytona, a little north of Cape Canaveral. And it's a great place to go if you want to get bit by a shark. According to the Uh. University of Florida in 2007, New Smyrna Beach experienced more shark bites than any other place in the world, even beating out shark hotspots like South Africa. Since they started logging shark attacks, New Smyrna Beach has had a total of 238 attacks to date, with 25 bites in 2008 alone. They also I mean, had 24. For the amount of people actually goes in the sea, it's not many at all. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. I'll go on the not, beach. It's not worth the risk. I'll go on the beach, the but I ain't going in the sea with sharks. If I know there's sharks, I ain't going in. Nope. Let me dip in my In toes. 2016. <laughs> so let me give you an idea of how high that 238 number is. There have only been about 2,800 shark attacks recorded ever for the oh, entire wow. planet. They started tracking these in 1580. Yeah, that far back. In other words, New Smyrna Beach has seen almost 9% of all reported shark attacks ever. It's quite so a lot. If you really want to get bit by a shark or go watch someone get bit by a shark, this is the best place to visit. No thanks. Oh, that was good. To be fair, well, I enjoyed that. A few that I would still go to. Definitely. But Definitely. a few. Because uh, uh, I think a few of them, if, you, if you're vigilant, you've got your wits about you, and you're not trying to do something stupid, there's a good chance you're going to be safe. You know what I mean? Yeah, but there's a few I'm not going to. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.